Hello the people hope you all are doing well so today we are back with the review for this particular fragrance which is basically the Sheikh Zayed blue right now this is supposed to be a very potent very good alternate of the dear um, Sauvage so EDT version and I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I've done some testing and I'm good to give you my review about the performance and the scent profile and the projection and all of that of this particular fragrance so let's get started you're watching the perfume experience my name is Rodney let's start So a couple of weeks back I did the uh, first impressions of this particular fragrance and I told you that it comes in this nice beautiful box and the fragrance bottle itself is really really good looking and it's a fantastic bottle. So you can watch the first impressions there but let's get to the fragrance straight away. Now Dear Savage EDT I have a decant of it here and uh, I've used this to compare with you know how close it is to the performance of this particular uh, fragrance especially in terms of scent profile right. Now Dear Savage EDT is basically a fragrance that has got you know Calibrian Bergamot, it's got some pepper then it's got some uh, Sichuan pepper, pink pepper, it's got vetiver, it's got uh, cedar, it's got androxin and it's got uh, lavender, labdanum all of these uh, sorry geranium all of these kind of fragrance notes on this particular uh, you know scent profile and it makes for a very you know citrusy musky uh, aromatic uh, powdery lavender kind of a scent profile so that's what you kind of you know get on this particular fragrance with a little bit of uh, you know warm spicy elements right because of this pepper notes and of course being vetiver being there uh, that kind of pushes that particular fragrance to that right now when you kind of you know do a couple of sprays on this particular fragrance so let's do a couple of, of the OG and then let's also do a couple of sprays of the Sheikh Zayed blue right mm -hmm. now uh, here on the hoji the moment you put it on you get a nice very beautiful uh, you know smooth blast of that citrusy element along with a little bit of that pepperiness comes into that play and after some time this kind of you know fragrance starts moving into that musky ambroxin notes and with that little bit of the cedar and you know it transitions into that particular scent profile where it's a little bit of that warm spicy citrusy lavender fresh kind of fragrance which you know has got a, a lot of a very strong energy point of view it kind of it, uh, it can rejuvenate you it can re-energize you and it's a very beautiful fragrance especially for day wear office wear casual wear you know beautiful fragrance that way now when you put this on, on the other side the opening the right of the opening there's a little bit of that synthetic alcohol type of kind of a blast that you get right just for a few seconds and then immediately it opens up that citrusy element right now the citrusy element spiciness vetiver uh, ambroxin cedar all of those elements are captured really well by this particular fragrance as well so apart from that initial spray and that too very up close you will really not find a lot of difference in terms of the scent profile and you know it carries on pretty pretty well now on this particular fragrance, uh, you know, in terms of performance, I easily get about six hours easy on this particular fragrance, but that is not the reason why we're talking about this. So the performance is fine. You get about five to six hours easily on skin and apparel. No problems there. What the, really this particular fragrance done exceptionally well is if you do a full wearing, which is about three sprays, three sprays and nine, 10, 11 sprays to 12 sprays. If you do, you kind of get a very beautiful, strong beast mode kind of a performance. I wouldn't really say, you know, probably not beast mode. I, you can say a loud to beast mode, you know, somewhere in that particular bracket. That's the kind of performance that you get. It's pretty loud, pretty potent. And that scent profile is really, really nice. So that element is captured really well by, you know, Sheikh Zayed Blue. And it is really, you know, something that you will feel for a long time. It does good for about one to one and a half hours time. And then it starts to lower down. But in the first one to one and a half, first time when it's there at least for the first 45 minutes it does it does about at least three feet and then maybe about two two and a half feet so in terms of that projection it is really really good and the performance is superb right so for the price bracket that you kind of pay you get exceptionally good performance on this particular fragrance and you know really value for money now after about the fourth hour or so it starts to lower down and you know starts gradually going down into that more uh, you know uh, woody notes of that cedar wood and you know the um, rocks in playing and the wetty were moving to a little more towards the powdery note side so about six seven hours is something that you will absolutely enjoy on this particular fragrance right now i think in terms of a price bracket this should be sub 2000 rupees for a full bottle of this particular fragrance and i'm thankful to sonu uh, one of the filler fragrants for lending me this particular fragrance to kind of you know do a complete review in terms of how the particular fragrance works now i would say in terms of scent profile it's very very close to the og as well so it's a good 90 to 95 percent match of this particular fragrance the only thing is that you know the og is a lot more lighter a lot more uh, you know uh, transitions much more smoothly here there is a little bit of 
that slight uh, harshness right at the beginning that I was talking to you about. But aside to that, it kind of you know transitions very well, and you know it's it's a good scent profile and a good fragrance at this particular budget. So uh, there are a lot of dear Sauvage uh, alternatives available out there and I think Modest Yuna is one of the better ones out there as well. So I have not been able to get that but I think if you're looking at a very good presentation, good bottle and a good uh, e uh, dear Sauvage EDT, I think hands down you can get this particular fragrance because this will be a very good one for office wear. You can wear this for summer, you can wear it for daily casual wear, gym and all of that. This is really really good and to layer with these two it is fantastic because you don't really see a lot of difference between the scent profile but definitely this performs a little more louder and really for a little longer time right so that has been my very quick review about sheikh zayed blue and from the house of ard al khalij that's the house that's bought this particular fragrance there are other ones also brown and all of those we can look at them as well right so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and share and if you like the content please pass it to more friends as so that we you know we can get more subscribers and you know we hit a larger milestone and reach a broader audience right so on that note take care see you until next time Bye now.